How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? How you getting in? Everybody getting a fuzzy? What's going on, people? What's going on, people? It is the day of another day. I'm a never day to be gone. Tuesday. Anybody being said, what's going on, people? Hope we might just do everything as far as being safe on this day, as far as rain and stuff. It's kind of cold and stuff, you know, just each one go out and stuff. I don't know about the weather anywhere else, but it's really cold and stuff. Of course, my allergies are acting up as well. Um, this is what I'm talking about. I want to talk to you about straight guys who trace, chase after two spirit the dolls saying that they've been with one of us and have never been with one of us. Now they have a conversation, you know, they have it in reference to the same they would do with um, um, a cis woman. But the thing about it is that the two spirit woman, the dolls, don't really think of him lying because he's saying, I've been with y'all, you know, I don't want you to go through because he watched a lot of you. Because most time before guys stepped to us, they already did a lot of research. And the thing about it is a lot of people understand that men would love women and when they see a woman that's different, they want to test it out. Now as far as him staying, that's a whole other story. But this is the thing. And some women are like, oh, well, they tricking them. Listen, men know what trans women look like, two-spirit women look like. When the clothes come off, they know exactly what's going on. Do they leave? Absolutely not. Now I'm going to talk about me. Now as far as deceiving someone, I'm not there. They call that pussy stuff, what the case may be. I don't do that. So I'm not there. I'm going to talk about me. So, this is it. There have been guys that has hit me up and told me that they've been with girls like me and stuff. And the thing about it is that they have not. And this is how I believe that a lot of girls like us are murdered and stuff. Um, this is the thing. They sit up there, like, talk to you, conversations, very positive. I don't care, you know, the old, I'm sure you, my sisters understand. I'm a real man, I'm not a motherfucker, I don't care what this world says. But reality is all a lie. So then what it is, he wants the chance to get you. He, he already saw you on porn, lots of times guys have been introduced to us through porn. He already seen this in porn. And he wants to see what it's like. Now, um, like for some reason, women feel as though, not women, just people in general feel as though, um, they would never mess with something like you. And those be the ones that would mess with you. The thing about it, if I throw something at your house, I'm going to tell you so and so, so and so, so reality is going to throw me, it's going to throw you off of me. And reality I'm the one, so not that I still, so I'm running with, but I'm just saying. You know, the thing about it is that this thing. So he's up there, he wants to meet you stuff and then he wants to see what it's like to be with your person. So he comes to your house and everything, he plays his role, you know, hey, what's going on, how you doing? He don't act really different, you know, like out the norm. He stays very calm and subtle with it. So you're like, oh, he must have been with girls like me because, you know, he's not going all oopla, you know. He'll just go, oh, okay, how you doing? You know, walking inside. Now, in reality, he's looking at you, looking for everything about you to see if it represents, you know, a male's figure. And he's looking at you, he's, he's analyzing you, he's like, oh, wow. You know, and most times they'll say, and there's no offense to cis women, they say, but damn, y'all look better than the cis women. But, you know, with me, beauty is beauty. I don't feel as I look better than anyone, but I always believe that's all game because I, listen, I believe it's a bunch of bullshit. I believe every woman is beautiful. Um, cis woman, um, two-spirit woman, people are beautiful. I, I'm not there. That's just not my thing. I love women, so I'm not going to go into that either. Because I'm going to talk about the fact that women be coming after the girls like us too. And a lot of girls like us are dating females, cis women and stuff. But anyway, you know, whatever purpose makes you happy, go on a single man. So this is it. So they're trying to be with you and stuff like that. He want to be with you and he likes you. And, and this has happened to me. This happened to me more than once. You know, they go through my pictures, they watch me, they want to meet me. I've already been with you, I want to take you out. So the thing is, He's caught up in your looks, he's caught up in your body, he's caught up in everything. Now, you know, when you look at a male's body, he's like, well, that don't look like a, you know. So, this is the thing. He get up there and everything with you and stuff like that, then the pants come down, then the reality checks. Boing! Now, the thing about it is that you would say, well, 
Now that your pants can love everything, you know, that he can see what's going on, what we do, he has no problem with it. His penis is erect. Because the thing about this, he already watched the porn and it made him hard. And the simple fact of the matter is that some people are like, well, he must be gay, must be gay, no boo boo. He's a straight man who's still just like, and I get what you're saying. I'm not going to listen. If you say, well, he got to be messing with you with bisexual. That's where you're at. This, I'm not here for labels. My thing is whatever makes you happy is supposed to go. Anyway, so this is it. So he gets into the bed with you and something. He all of a sudden he does all this. You know, um, he's looking at you. Like, he's talking to you, but he's looking at you. Like, he's like, you know. And then all of a sudden you go to bed with you. His penis is erect. I've never had a problem with a man with a penis getting erect. Well, <laughs> well, um, one, but I'm not going to talk about that. So, this thing. So then after that. You know, I said some stuff like that, and then, you know, he's like, okay, boy, I took it. Then this week's later, he says, you're my first. And I my sister understand that. You're my first. Now, the thing about it is that he knew that it went through another girl, enough girls, that he to ask them, there's like, how many of you girls? And I said, none. So he was like, I'm not going to say I've been with, I'm, I'm going to say I've been with y'all, because every time I try to meet one of y'all, y'all keep telling me that if I ain't been with somebody like you, you don't want to meet me, because you're going to be the first time. And so what he does, he changes his game and he hits the girl like me up and say, well, I've already been with girls like you and stuff, so it's a big deal. So now me not being um, aware that he's already talked to other girls, now I'm thinking he has a baby, so I feel safe, you know, stuff like that. And we all is that he hasn't. And this has happened to me time and tons of times. And now my sister can understand you. I'm sure you could um, co-sign on this. We meet a lot of men who have never been with us have had a first time experience and they lied. They said they never been with someone like me, they never then they got this friend. Now this this is the funny part. He gets with one of us and he likes it. Now it's fucking him up. Because now he's thinking, Oh my god, am I bisexual? No, use me, excuse me. He don't ever say bisexual. Oh my god, am I gay? Now all of a sudden he sees you as a man. He don't see you as a woman anymore. Because the reality is that his dick got hard. He fucked you, probably went down on him. I mean, whether I'm with you, uh, you probably, some, <laughs> some of you already even have fucked them. <laughs> it's not funny. Yeah. Anyway, I can't, well, I can't even say that because I know they're watching. Because <laughs> I know they're watching it. Um, and the thing about it is that it bothers them a little bit, but the part that bothers them the most is that they liked it. And they did not think they was gonna like it, and they liked it. Now what happens is it fucks with them. Now when they get around, um, the usually they're trying to find a female, go home and redeem themselves, have sex with a woman. But why is having sex with that woman? He's still thinking, damn, I got you know, I, I went down, I sucked the penis, I got fucked, and I'm fucking this woman, and the shit is not as good as you know what I was getting there. Now the thing about I'm not saying this every case, but then because men are nasty, that's what it is, and they'll fuck anything that will. Some type of women, um, straight up guys, they don't give a shit. As long as they get that nut, they don't give a shit at the end of the day. But then there are some that it really does bother them that the fact that they are with a genetic woman and that their sexual preference of what they went through, they cannot share with her because she's going to say, oh my God, you're gay, get out. So he's going to hold that in and he's going to act basically contact that same girl or another girl and try to get to see if he's really that way. Then he finds it and he likes it again. And that's how it all begins and stuff. And then they become, that's how training chasers are called. Be, um, that's how they, the word training chasers becomes. Because what happens, he's like, well, I tried that one. Let me try this one. Let me try that one. Let me try this one. Let me try that one. Well, this one's shorter. Let me look. So he goes through the whole thing of that. And he goes through the period of just going after so many of them. And now all the girls thinking that he's going to be with them. And that's how a training chaser is started. So a lot of times guys are like, what do you mean, trying to say, anybody go chase you? That's how it gets started. Because the simple fact of the matter is that girl give you a chance. And she's thinking, most of the time when they give you a chance, they, they want that picket fence and that dream with you as well. In reality, they're not trying to be your whore. But reality, they end up being played. And a lot of times, girls get upset and say, I should have just charged you. Then this is why I'm going to have my feelings into it. Because it's all about the game with the God stuff. Sometimes it's about stacking cards. They want to send the girls they fuck before they die. They want to send the girls they fuck before they're 30. It is what it is. Anyway, and this is the thing. Because a lot of times girls are like, oh, y'all tricking my trick. 
Men know what's going on. Men are not stupid. Men are not stupid. Don't sleep on men. They ain't stupid. They catch on pretty quick. They watch you just like you women watch the men. The men watch the trans women too. And even watch y'all. They you and y'all know yeah they do. It's the thing about it is that we're more alike than different than we realize. And the thing about it, a lot of guys have tried it and they liked it. And they're hooked. And then they feel like they, you put the spell in them and stuff like that. They kind of, sometimes they get mad at you and blame you. And they just want to chase you. You want to be with you and stuff. And you did exactly what they wanted to do. And get mad at you. Because they liked it. Now they sit around with their friends. They laugh at you and make fun of you. The reality is that they're trying to get everybody off their sin. Because they're already fucking you. Already been fucked by you. Already done to suck more dick than the woman they're sleeping with. Anyway, the man said it. So I want to share this with you on a Tuesday. Um, as far as how is a tranny. Chasing started. How does it all begin? I'm just sharing it with you and stuff. How do it all start? Anyway, the man said, hope you have a safe Tuesday. And I hope you hear feedback on this. And I want to tell you I love you. And I want to thank you for watching. Kiss the rain. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Go on Instagram. Put in raven underscore over. And follow me on Instagram. This way I can show you so much more that I can't show here. Love you.